welcome to chandra's edu so this is another video on digital electronics in this video we will discuss about reducing the number of states in a state machine so we will consider here a completely specified state machine in a completely specified state machine for a present state the next state as well as the output are mentioned so that type of state machine is called as a completely specified state machine so in this state machine we will try to reduce the number of states by using partition technique so the first step involved in this is to partition based on the outputs so first we need to check for the x is equal to 0 what are the outputs so when we see here all the outputs are 0 for this state machine so there is no distinguishability of the states so we can't make any partition with respect to this x equal to 0 next we need to check x equal to 1 so in this x equal to 1 we have got the present state a b c d e with an output 1 and the present state f is an is having an output 0 so for the one successor or x equal to 1 we have a b c d outputs are 1 and the f output is 0 so we can make a partition out of this a b c d e as 1 and f as another partition so the partition 1 is nothing but a b c d e and f and the second step involved in this is to partition based on the one distinguishability here we need to consider 0 successor as well as 1 successor so we will take the state machine in this state machine whatever the next state belonging to the present state so we will take for x equal to 0 so based on that we have got for the a the next state is b for x equal to 0 and for b the next state is e for x equal to 0 we can see similarly the other states so in this uh, we have already the partition a b c d as one and f as another partition so we'll try to see that uh, whatever the out whatever the the next states belonging to these partitions if they belong to same partition they will remain as it is but if they belong to different partition the partition need to be divided once again so if we see the a b c d e next states we got b and e which belong to the same partition as earlier and coming to the f as it's already a partition so there is no need for checking whether f is uh, going to a next state or not so based on this the partitions will remain same so we also need to check for x equal to one that is one successor and uh, when we see the one successor we can observe that a is next state d b is having next state f similarly we can see even other states also so out of this uh, we need to check the different uh, present states and uh, see that whether they are belonging to the same partitions as earlier or they belong to a different partition so if we take a it is d it belong to the same partition next if we take c and d they also give d and b which belong to the the same partition and when we take b it is pointing to f and even we have an a state e which is also pointing to f so b and e states are pointing pointing to a different partition which was earlier belonging to one partition so that can be subdivided as another partition so we can take a c d as one partition and b e as another partition why because earlier they belong to the the same partition but they are pointing to a different next state in the the one successor of one distinguishability so now this partition 2 is a c d as one partition b e as another partition and f as the 
the other partition next we need to check for the the two distinguishability the partition based on two distinguishability here also we need to consider zero successor and one successor so when we check the zero successor we have so a to b and b to e that means a state is with uh, z x equal to 0 to b and uh, b with x equal to 0 it is pointing to e similarly we can see for the other states also so in this we can observe that from a to e so all these states are giving only the output that is only the next state as e itself with the two distinguishability and all these belonging to same partition itself so there cannot be any further partitions uh, made with this zero successor so next we will see about uh, one successor so where you can observe that a is pointing to d and d is pointing to b similarly we can see other states also how they are pointing to the the two distinguishability next states and here we need to check the next states and whether they are belonging to the same partition as earlier or they are belonging to a different partition so that they can be divided separately so if we take a which is pointing to b which belong to partition b and similarly c uh, is pointing to b which is related to same partition but d which we have earlier in the acd partition it below it is pointing to f which is a different partition and when we check about b the next state is c which belonging to acd partition as well as when we take e also it is pointing to c which belonged to acd partition so they they may be giving next state of other partition but all of them are pointing to the the same C itself so here in this we can separate the 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 state D why because it is pointing to a different partition compared with the the other two elements that is A and C so we can divide this partition 3 as AC as one group B as another group b as another group and f as another group next we will check for the the three distinguishability the partition based on three distinguishability for zero successor and one successor in this also we will just see zero successor where you can see a pointing to b b pointing to e and e pointing to e so we can find similar uh, set of uh, next states as we have seen in the two distinguishability zero successor so that the, there is no further partition possible in this zero successor so next we need to check the one successor three distinguishability so where is a is pointing to d d is pointing to b and b is pointing to f we can even observe the other states also so in this uh, whatever the earlier partition we got that is AC as one, D as another, BE as another and F as another partition. So we need to check whether A and C belonging to the same partition and B and E belonging to the, the same partition. So when we check A it is pointing to F and when we check uh, C also it is also pointing to F. So there is no partition possible in A and C. Next we need to check B and E. So B is pointing to D and uh, coming to E, E is also pointing to D. So here also there is no further partition possible. So the final partition that can be possible is A, A C as one partition, D as another partition b as one partition and f as another partition even if we take the further distinguishability also this will remain same so based on this we can draw the the reduced state machine so this was the the given state machine 
and we have got the partitions as AC1, D as another partition, B as one partition and F as another partition. So what we will try to do is we will out of A and C we will keep only one state that is A and remove C wherever we have in the, the state machine. And similarly with respect to BE also we will keep B and eliminate the E wherever we have E in the, the state machine. So that means E need to be replaced with B wherever it is needed and C need to be replaced with A wherever it is needed. So based on this we will get the, the reduced state machine like this. So we have got uh, four states only at present. Uh, earlier we have uh, six states A, B, C, D, E, F as the earlier state machine but we got only A, B, D, F four states. So we reduced two states from this one. So this is the reduced state machine. So this is for completely specified state machine. So when we go for incompletely specified state machine, we need to use a major graph or major table for reducing the, the state machine. So like, share and subscribe Chandra Sadhu for more videos. Thank you.